into your email, you're going to get uh, an email. It'll say something like listing booster invitation courtesy of Pamela Rachel from Nexa Mortgage, something like that. Okay. All right. And then all you have to do is um, click on accept. I did. Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to refresh my screen. What would my password be? I could put in anyone. Yeah, time. you can you can choose your password. There you are. And and also, Beverly, just so you know, in order for me to stay RESPA compliant, because you know, as a lender, I can't give you anything of value in exchange for business. So right. I have to bill you for this. It's three dollars a year so okay. an invoice was automatically sent to you when you have a moment you don't have to do it now but just send three dollars to my paypal account <laughs> okay it does, just so you know it says password you entered is incorrect on log into your account I, I thought you were saying i could set up a password yeah you may have to log in with the the password that they sent you first do you have you have beverly.mandela gmail.com or do you have exp? Um, I have to log into the account and see. Hold on. So I'm going to log in as you, and then we're going to go to your agent profile and I'll see your. I have beverly.mandela exp. Okay, but they are linked, but I can try that too. This isn't allowing me, it's asking for a password, it's not allowing me to create one. Okay, you don't That's have to do that right now because. You, you can definitely do that after, but um, because I'm able to log in as you, so I can see what's going on. This this is what your dashboard would look like, and this is your profile. So I'm just going to scroll quickly through your profile. So your okay. last name really is Mandel, and we should be able to make up here. Oh, so my memory, Jane. Jane, no. You want me to do I, not yeah, have that? <laughs> No, I can't get it off of the MLS. It drives me crazy. All right, so I'm going to take it off of here. Now, Beverly, okay. if you are a mentor and you have a listing that you want one of your mentees to um, to market, you can CC their email so that they can get the leads as well. Or if you're co-listing, you can mm -hmm. put the email here again. But right now, you don't need that. Okay, what is your mobile number? 561-302-6196. And who is your mobile carrier? Verizon. Okay. And I don't know what your designations are, so I just use a default realtor. And then you can come back in here if you want to add like GRI or whatever. Um, Additional license information, if you want to put a couple sentences, kind of like a little brief bio, you can do that. And then this is your company address. Now, the office number shows up. I always delete it because there's no reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with EXP. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So there's no reason for you to have the office number. I'm just going to paste your mobile number here again. Okay. Okay, so now what is your IDX website? Because it can't my be my IDX website. Oh, you mean my website? Uh, yeah, it's that's great because I haven't. Uh, hold on, I was on vacation. I haven't used it in a few days. That's embarrassing. I believe it is themandel.com. I'll go in here right now and check. I can check for you as well. I always double check to make sure. That's, it. That's my EXP website. Nope. Well, that's the website I have with EXP. Bmanzel.com? Yeah, it, 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 it connects to the EXP website. Oh, it's website. a redirect. Okay, let me just wait a second. Oh. Give me a can you what? give me the actual website because this is not loading? Oh, gosh. I don't okay, Beverly Mandel, all together, dot exp realty dot com. Perfect. 
process. Okay, so that's what I'm going to put in in your uh, profile because the other one, for some reason, I had this happen the other day too, um, where somebody had a redirect and it just it didn't work. So I needed, and, and again, it was also with a um, an ESP website. So that's what I should. Maybe I can't use a redirect in any marketing. Maybe I can't use B Mandel. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if people, I mean, I can get into B Mandel. Um, can I use a redirect in my marketing? A point two? Oh, no, okay. It just took a few minutes, a, a couple of seconds. It did redirect. But to be safe, I'm just going to keep it with, um, you know, I'm going to keep it with just the, the main website. Okay, so is that now. Is that what makes you use the market, the main website? Um, no, that's not what we use to market. It's just to have as a, a, okay. a reference, you know. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. So if somebody, if somebody wants to search your website, then that's the link that they'll get. So it'll be put into the marketing automatically. Um, so let's see, I, it doesn't let me, that's a very pretty picture. Thank you. I had a good photographer. Actually, those are properties of mine, that white living room and this. They really are properties of that, rather than oh, stock nice. photos. Yeah. I just, I'm trying to find it. There it is. There's your headshot. That's lovely. Thank you. Pretty recent, actually. I'm going to save the image, and then I'm going to just put you in with my realtor. Realtor lines. Okay, so now I've got that. So now, just to help you out here, I'm going to upload your headshot. Sure. That, and then also I have EXP as well. Okay, and that's how you set up an agent profile, and then you're just going to click update, and it'll save it. So now all of all of your information will um, appear. I don't need to save that. Will appear on the marketing. Now the next thing it, it automatically takes you to step two. Now when you get the text codes. There is a, um, a prefix. So these are all the different prefixes. And LBR stands for Listing Booster, but nobody can relate to that. So I always say, you know, pick one of a word that makes sense to you, like tour or view or see or home. Which one would you like? And <coughs> what's the most popular? Would it be tour? Yeah, that usually is the most popular. Okay. And you said you have rental listings as well? Right now, I just rented out. It, don't, it didn't take that long at all, one for 6000 a month. So I don't really have rental listings okay. right now. All right. Well, then I'm going to keep this unchecked because if you do get a rental listing, you can also use the software to promote that as well. Okay. Now, here's where you're choosing. You want to use a virtual HD tour. And with the EXP agents, I usually check on blue jeans because EXP is blue, so kind of stays with your branding. And you can come in here and listen to these different music snippets, but I usually just take, uh, I usually just pick the tour. It's just a very pleasant, generic sounding audio clip. It's I just like that. Like, I, 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 I basically like a smooth jazz, you know what I mean? Not some of the only sounding ones. Well, like I said, you come in okay. here and you pick, you know, I'm just, because I'm, okay. I'm just setting this up for you. 
Um, the print flyer also, we have an EXP Realty Blue. Now, your market is, is it Boynton Beach and surrounding areas? Yeah, it's Boynton, Delray, Boca, pretty much. But you could put Boynton Beach and surrounding areas, I would think. B-O-Y-N-T-O-N. B-O-Y-N. And surrounding areas. Okay, I'm going to apply settings to all properties. All right, now what we're going to do is import your listings. So I'm going to click on that. I have to wait. And there they are. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, um, if it pulled in a listing that you're already co-branded with another um, realtor, I mean another um, mortgage person, you can just um, you know like click on it and then you can go into like edit and and delete or. Um, somewhere on here. Oh. Can, you can delete the one that's checked, okay? So if you just want to make sure that, oh, yeah, you know what, I'm already co-branded with, you know, the other mortgage agent, then I'm not going to keep this listing, you can just delete that, okay? Okay, this has nothing to do with the onboarding, but I wanted to show this anyway because when your agent has listings and they turn pink, that means that they are no longer active they're pending so either you or the agent needs to go in here and remove these listings um you don't have to be afraid if you delete them and then they become reactive let's say a deal fell through and um, financing fell through and now the, le the listing is active again because once the listing becomes active on the MLS it's going to automatically be pulled into listing booster right into their account so you never have to worry oh gosh I don't want to delete it you know it gives you a reason to reach out to the realtor too and just let them know hey I see you've got you know three listings that are pending right now so i just want to let you know i'm going to remove those from the listing booster accounts so they you know don't take up space um so it gives you a reason to touch base with your agents and uh that's it let them know too if they you know if they say oh no i want to do it then let them take control of their listings all right so that's it for this video and if you are an agent watching this if there's anybody that i can help get into a home uh, in the next couple of weeks, please give me a call. My number is 727-314-2726. Pamela Rachel, Nexa Mortgage.